You might still find this part A challenging, but at least we have some tools now. So um, let's start going through the problem again together now. And uh, if you get stuck, we'll just finish it together. But uh, uh, take the start on part 3A. Use that formula. And then S is the object distance. Mm-hmm. Which is what's the object distance? Is that four? Let's talk about that. All right, so I'll erase the pictures on the top of the board now. All right, so number three, part A. So we're talking about a myopic person. So it's like this picture here. They're nearsighted. So do they have a bad near point or a bad far point? They have a bad far point. What is their bad far point? Is 400. Which is just 4 meters. So that's pretty bad, right? They're supposed to be able to see infinity, and they can only go 4 meters. I think I'm even worse than that. But anyway, that would be their far point. OK, um, so they're nearsighted. So first of all, what type of glasses are they going to have, converging or diverging? Tell me how you would work that out. Because they are no diverging because it's di it converges to infinity. Yeah, someone who's nearsighted is someone whose light would tend to converge too near, yeah. too soon. So they need some diverging power. And that's what we work through down here. Yeah. We saw that a myopic person needs diverging lenses. So I'll put in some diverging lenses. Whose sign does that tell us? If there's diverging lenses? It tells us F is less than zero. Yeah. Diverging, uh, the F for the glasses. OK, good. Uh, let's see. They told us that the lens is two centimeters from the eye. So let's label that distance on your picture. Where's the two centimeters? Uh, OK. Now, they said the lens is two centimeters from the eye. Whose lens? Of the glasses lens? Yeah, that's right. Well, so if you draw your picture like this, this would be the two centimeter distance. Yeah. What they mean is that the lens of the glasses is two centimeters from the lens of the eye. Mm -hmm. Although, actually, uh, in this case, um, they're not really telling us how, how big the eye is. This, this problem is actually approximating. This problem is approximating by not telling us how big the eye is. So we'll just say, we'll just say that here's the eye. It's so small that we don't even have to worry about its size. Sometimes they actually tell you the size of the eye, and then you have to take that into account. But here they're not telling us the size of the eye, so we'll just say the eye is so small, you don't have to take that into account. So there's two centimeters between the eye and the lens over here. OK, now what we need to do is we need to design the right corrective lenses. We need to design the right corrective lenses. So what variable are we trying to figure out? What variable are we trying to figure out? What does it mean to design these lenses? It means we're trying to figure out the right focal length for these lenses. If we can figure out the right focal length, then we'll know what to order from the glasses manufacturers. So we're trying to figure out the focal length. So we're going to use our formula. Now, who are we going to use this formula for? Not for the eye. We're using this formula for the glasses. We're going to use this formula for the glasses. We need to design the right focal length 
that will give this person corrected vision. They're going to have corrected vision. Well, if, they're, if, they're, if we're going to correct their vision, where do we need to, where should, what's the hardest object for them to see and still have corrected? How far? Yeah, how far? 400 centimeters. Now, that's the defective far point. Oh, infinity. Yeah, if we're really going to correct their vision, we want to ask, what focal length will it take to see an object at infinity? We want to put the object at infinity and then see what focal point it will take. You also have that written down here in your notes, right? The yeah. corrective lens should take an object at the normal far point. Yeah. So that means we want to put the object at the normal far point, which we have memorized is infinity. We have memorized that the normal far point is infinity. Mm -hmm. And if the lens really does a good job, where is it going to put the image? It's going to put it at 400? It's going to put it at a distance of 400 centimeters because we know that the eye can see things that are 400 centimeters away. Yeah. However, there's a complication. So we want it to be 400 centimeters from the eye, right? Mm -hmm. So we want... We want the image to be here, right? So 398? You got it. We want this distance to be 400 centimeters, but we know this distance is 2 centimeters, so this is supposed to be the image distance from the glasses. This S prime, so that's going to be 398. So it's really important to draw a clear picture or you're not going to get this little technicality here. Um, in order to have the image be 400 centimeters from the eye, it has to be 398 centimeters from the glasses because the glasses are 2 centimeters from the eye. Now here's something very important. Remember we should never write down an F or an S prime without putting in the sign. So what's the correct sign on this 398? Negative. Good. How do you know? Because it's a virtual. That's what we figured out over here. Remember we saw the corrective lenses always make virtual images. We saw that why that was, right? Because the outgoing light is going to be over here, but we're putting the image at the far point, which yeah. is over here. So obviously the outgoing light is opposite to where the image is. That's the definition of virtual. This is the part that almost nobody would get right. But then you can't get the problem right at all. So very important um, to put in the right sign here. Now what? Well, yeah, because 1 over infinity is 0. Mm -hmm. 1 over infinity is 0. So what did we get for f? Negative 398. Did we expect it to come out negative? Uh, yes. Because we said we needed diverging. If it hadn't come out negative, we would have known we made a mistake. So um, what type of lens do we need? A lens with a focal point of negative 398, what are the units on that? Centimeters. Okay, now, I don't know if they would uh, accept that. Usually the uh, lens is described in power instead of focal point. So we need except to be able to figure. One over S. Good, except what are the units for power? Meters, so one over negative 3.98. Right, the units for power are one over meters. So you can't calculate the power until you've translated this into meters. So let's go ahead and do that calculation. Negative 0.25. And what are the units on that? Um, diopter. Right. We know that a diopter is reciprocal meters, but the, you just call this negative 0.25 diopters, and it does you have to include the negative sign or it's wrong. Because if you don't include the negative sign, then the glasses manufacturers will give you a converging lens. Yeah. And that's, that's going to correct the wrong problem. OK. You're pretty sure to see a problem like this on the test. So this is very important to have in your notes. So this little thing that I, I didn't write very clearly, but this little thing that I kind of squiggled on the board is the most important idea. The corrective lens is supposed to be able to take an object at the normal far point and make an image at the defective eye's far point. So that tells us that you want to put the object distance at the normal far point, and you want to put the image distance at the defective far point. This is the key right here, if you can uh, see it on the board. Yeah. So that's the key thing that you want to have uh, in your notes. That's what gives this. And when they tell you to design the lens, they mean to find the focal point.